Hello everybody. I showed you this mock-up earlier today. It features random pieces of faces, just 2D portraits that slide into each other like those old uh, spinning monster games where you get the head of Frankenstein and the body of a, mon of a skeleton and so on. Except for with faces. I showed you that and it's pretty basic. Uh, I figured I'd show you the alternative, which is 3D. So here is a 3D mask that, uh, that took significantly longer than the 2D stuff. But I figured I'd show you the same species, the same uh, space monkey species, with uh, 3D versus 2D. They're both in a pretty early state. This is untextured uh, and doesn't have any bone support or anything like that. But um, it offers a number of blend keys. And so this is how you would build yourself a, a custom character in your monkey, uh, you know, a custom monkey in your game. You would, you'd have some kind of blend shape system and they'd randomly be allocated. So, you know, you can see that you can get quite a few variations in your in your monkeys. Pretty straightforward. Uh, every species would need to have their own face uh, with their own mesh topology. It, it can't be really very well done using a standard face like the Make Human face. Uh, the reason is right there in the title. The Make Human face isn't really suitable for things that don't have a fairly human feature set. Probably could have done it with this. Uh, it would have stressed quite a lot at the cheeks. Uh, the cheeks actually have some really unusual topology uh, just due to the fact that they need to be able to do some gymnastics that humans don't need to normally do. Um, and I think the other species I've got right now that I show is the Nova fish, which is basically just very human. But I don't plan to make all the species really human. They all have to have humanoid bodies so that you can uh, create a set of clothes and gear and just duplicate it for every species rather than having to create an obnoxious series of custom meshes. Much easier if they're all humanoid. But their faces can be quite different. And so, you know, I'm going to have characters with eight eyes and whatever else I can come up with. Uh, and they're all going to have to have their own features. Now, I actually like the way this looks, but it is about 20 times more work. So at this point, it's really a question of what people think I should be spending my time on. Should I be spending my time on creating these art assets, or should I be spending my time on bringing the core game up? Uh, you know, your advice is welcome, and um, that's that. I might take down the old video since this is much more uh, much more important. It, it, it features both rather than only one, and you can clearly see them side by side. They are both very early, by the way. This would end up being colored with different different skin tones and so on and so forth, and this would end up being co covered in a texture and a mesh uh, and a, a UV map and all that stuff. Uh, and there'd be hair and such. Hair. That's tough in 3D. I'll figure it out if I need to.